You have the floor, Senator Monsignor. Thank you, Chair, and welcome, Minister. I have two questions for you. The first is for the Bretton Woods Agreement. I would like to know how the government decided on the proposal of a maximum financial assistance available to foreign states and how you will follow up on these sums or keep track of them. Thank you for your question. As you are fully aware, due to the illegal invasion of Ukraine by Russia, Canada has made use of this mechanism to assist Ukraine. And in the fall, when we wrote up the fall economic statement, and it's truly a tragedy, we saw that the war is still ongoing. So we felt then that it would be prudent for us to raise our stated amount, our capacity to assist Ukraine. I want to point out that this is an assistance amount that Canada must, that Ukraine must eventually return to Canada, reimburse Canada. I also wish to point out that last week we finished creating a new bond, a Ukraine sovereignty bond. $700 million Canadian dollars worth of these bonds. The most important thing is that these bonds are purchased by Canadians. That was very important to me because it would no longer be merely a government of Canada decision. It would be a chance given Canadians to demonstrate their interest in acquiring the, such bonds. And we have seen that the interest that Canadians have in assisting Ukraine is growing, and I'm very proud of that. Thank you for that explanation. My second question is on a completely different topic. The surrogate mother expenses here. Medical expense tax credit for surrogacy. So you're speaking of a definition of surrogate mothers and donors um, ex and sums that will be reimbursed, expenses. You know that donors often um, refer to the sperm donors, but I would like to know whether in drawing this up you considered women who undergo hormone treatment, invasive and expensive treatments, whether these uh, expense tax credits would also be provided for women who provide ovaries? A very good question, and thank you for bringing this up. As you have just said, it's not um, a grant, it's merely an expense tax credit. I think the answer is yes. Yes, and I'm getting a nod. The answer is yes. Thank you. Do you intend to eventually go over all programs for surrogate mothers, um, fertility clinics, and so on? There's a good deal of work that could be done there, and I'd like to know whether the government is willing to undertake that work, even looking at hiring surrogate mothers outside the country and so on. It's a considerable file and one that I care about. I wonder if your government will be undertaking to examine this matter. Thank you for your question. I cannot tell you more than our having carried out the work that you see here in, on surrogacy, but I will take good note of your question. And as you see, this is a first step, the medical expense tax credit in this bill. Thank you.